the Hotel Transylvania franchise has been one of the best animated movies in the latest years, and together with the story and the cast, it proved to be a franchise worth revisiting, especially now with the fourth installment coming sooner than expected. So without further ado, let's dive right in and refresh our memory with some of the best moments from all the movies so far. Enjoy! Oh no, Blabby's gonna puke! <laughs> Dracula and Mavis Bonding Starting off our list strong with one of the most beautiful and heartwarming moments from the first movie, the bonding of newborn Mavis and Dracula. A scene which gives us the struggles of Mavis in learning how to fly, Dracula encouraging her to jump and transform into a bat, just the usual stuff for a vampire. He reads a story to her before bedtime, he changes her diapers with magic of course, plays hide and seek with her, and last but not least, he sings to her, with his favorite banjo by his side and his nickname for Mavis, he calls her Mouse, is just the sweetest thing ever. One of the best scenes in the movie because we've all been there and we know how special these kinds of moments are for both of them. I'll simply say <laughs> Because you're daddy's girl, daddy's girl. Johnny's new environment Next on our list, we have probably one of the funniest moments of them all. Johnny arriving at the castle at the perfect time, Mavis's birthday, and all of Dracula's friends are already there. So in order to fit, Dracula disguises Johnny so no one would notice that he's just a human. Nothing special about him when compared to all of the monsters arriving as guests to the hotel for Mavis's birthday. Johnny in quick succession gets to meet Bigfoot, Blob, the Jelly Guy, the Skeleton Couple, Sticky Brain, Pumpkinhead before knocking it over, the Witch, and finally bumping into Mavis, the daughter of Dracula and in this case, the woman of the hour. It is as if though a love at first sight is born out of nowhere, and this is the moment when everything clicks for them, however many struggles and obstacles need to be overcome for them to be together later in the movie. No matter the case, this proves to be one of our favorite scenes, which also symbolizes the start of something bigger than the franchise itself, as it's the foundation on which the next movies take place, but more on that a bit later. That is a uh, nobody. Seriously, Dad. Dad? Yeah, I know. Dracula's daughter. Everyone freaks out at first. Dracula and Johnny. This is probably the best entrance in a scene from any character in the movie. And the character in question is Dracula and the time of the setting up of the tables. You know what we're talking about. Seeing him in just a towel is just hilarious. This is also the moment when he and Johnny actually have fun for the first time, nonetheless, probably the time when Dracula somewhat accepts Johnny and who he is, giving his blessing to him to be with Mavis because the happiness of his daughter is the most important thing. They hit it off by skateboarding in the hall, both of them flying around on the tables, and Johnny avoiding everything that's thrown at him by Dracula. They bond over a little thing, but a thing that Johnny was living for, and Dracula has not experienced in a long time probably because no one can bring the fun like Johnny does, not just in the first movie, but the other installments too. All in all, a very unique moment for the two characters who would carry the fun into the sequels to come. And also their bond was probably the thing we needed to understand why Dracula was so protective of his daughter, he was afraid of her leaving him when Johnny eventually leaves the hotel too. Whatever. The newest member of the family. After the wedding and all the arrangements are finished, in the second movie, a moment comes when Johnny and Mavis go to Dracula to tell him the good news. However, they're not really sure of how he'll react and what his next action will be. After the conversation they have, Mavis invites her father to fly with her above the clouds, and from this point onward, the moment is just magical. The clouds, the music in the background, the scenery, everything. After a little chase and catch, Mavis decides for Dracula to see what's going on and figure it out himself, which is a pretty cool thing to see in the movie. The suspense is killing you all, just like us, but the moment finally comes, and when Dracula realizes that he's going to be a grandpa, he's delighted and overjoyed by the fact which makes this moment that much more special. He screams and flies out of joy, feeling like he's over the clouds. Oh wait, he is, figuratively and literally. However, the joy doesn't end there, shortly after we all have the answer that the baby is a boy named Dennis, or as Dracula likes to call him, Denisovich, a more cool sounding name for a vampire baby, a newborn boy who will carry the Dracula bloodline. What? <gasps> Woohoohoo! I'm gonna be a grandpa! Baby proofing. 
As with all other families in the world, the time comes when all of us have to be careful with the baby and eliminate as much danger around him as possible, a process also known as baby-proofing. This has to be one of the funniest, most hilarious moments in the second movie just because of the measures taken for the baby-proofing of the whole castle in the likes of setting a door at the end of the staircase, all the witches getting soft sponges on their noses, all ghost knights getting their weapons, corkscrews at the pointy end, and many other things which can be seen throughout the movie. We can't count them all, it would take more than just one video of all the elements which are part of the baby-proofing process for the entire castle. Oh look! It's a boy! It's a boy! The Dracula bloodline carries on! Gremlin Air From here to there, we finally get a look into the third installment of the franchise and their summer vacation. But we and the gang are not there yet but rather they're on their way flying with Gremlin Air, the best airlines the franchise has to offer, or so they say. These scenes, this moment has to be one of those which is filled with all kinds of stuff that your mind is just boggled, you're simply unable to focus on one thing because there are so many things happening at the same time. To start off, the plane is not in a perfect condition and it's falling apart right from the start. The windows are shut with planks, which we believe will not hold for long. And as for the crew, the gremlins are just nuts, they're hilarious. They are messy, they try to eat anything, however, they're trying to be as professional as they can and we can certainly say they did their best, right? The steward is talking about the seatbelt rules, although not in the right way, the emergency oxygen on the plane and of course the storing of the luggage, they're doing everything extremely funny and we almost forgot the food and drink service is just impeccable. <laughs> The Struggles of the Modern Age As we all know from the stories we've heard, vampires live much longer than we do. Maybe more than a thousand years, this is also the case for our favorite Dracula. After a little convincing, Dracula starts using a smartphone and the relationship between the two is just over the top. From the voice activation system all the way to finding himself a date, an idea given by the younger couple. He struggles so much, but his son-in-law is there to help and their adventure just begins as they board a cruise and take the whole family and close friends with them. No, no, I want to meet someone. Understood. You want to eat dim sum. Don't you get it? I want to go on a date. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below which has been your favorite moment of the franchise and why. And also don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.